Hey guys, how's it going? It's the Jurors here. So today I'm going to show you how you can still use the door elevator glitch. The thing you guys all remember where you could take a door with a door frame, stand in the middle here, shut it on yourself, jump or use an umbrella and glitch up through everything that was above it. So I'm here to tell you that that still exists in the game. However, it does not exist with normal doorways or door frames that are on the ground. You have to put them on a car. And so this makes it a little bit more difficult because it can't because your building can't be as clean because um, the uh, the normal building pieces snap into place, but things like wardrobes, which is what we're going to be using, don't snap in pl into place. You can also use campfires, but it's a little bit more difficult, so I wouldn't suggest doing that. However, I would suggest that you guys continue to try other items in the game, um, just to see what it works. If there's anything that works better than wardrobes, I tried quite a few things, but there might be something better out there. So you're gonna start by putting the uh, the door frame on the car, and you're gonna take a door. Put the door right in there. It doesn't matter what type of car you use. You could use a tank. You could use a taxi. It doesn't matter. Um, and you're going to open the door. And start into the door frame just like you used to for the old door glitch. Shut on yourself and see, bam. We're actually stuck in the frame. And then if we pull out our umbrella, whoop, puts us right out on top. Alright, so then once you're done with that, you're going to get right here on the edge. And then you're going to want to line up this wardrobe right on top of the door this is very important that you line this one up correctly because this is going to be the door or the wardrobe that you put every single other wardrobe on so if this one's off they're all going to be off and it's going to be horrible all right so now we're going to go back in here um, get your umbrella in your hand shut the door on yourself and wham it puts you right at the top of that wardrobe. So now you're going to drop off the side a little bit here. You can see the hitbox of the wardrobe is kind of strange. If you see right here, we're still standing on it, even though we're not really standing on it. Which is good for us, because then we can easily place down another wardrobe like that. And then we can climb up this one. Then we're up here. That way we don't have to go all the way down to the bottom and glitch back up. There's a big one that I did a really messy job on. <laughs> um, yeah, you want to make sure you do it clean. Otherwise, it is kind of glitchy when you're going up. Alright, so we're going to get this one lined up exactly on top. And this actually builds pretty quickly. Bam. Especially if you don't... Oops. Alright, we just fell down. Um, especially if you don't fall down too much and you don't care if it's like perfect, perfect. But this should be... Yeah, that's... This is pretty clean. It'll spit you out the side a little bit sometimes. You gotta move over slightly. But other than that, you pretty much just glide right up this thing. Alright. We're going to be a little bit OCD about how we're going to do this. Oh man. <laughs> well, anyway. <laughs> sometimes, uh, like. It, once you get used to it, you can do it pretty much every time um, without falling down. But, oh my goodness. But, yeah, it, at first, you might struggle with it a little bit as I am right now. And I know you guys can probably hear it, but I'm pretty dang sick right now. I got a cold and everything. Alright, let's back off a little bit. There we go. Whoa, okay. Looks like we're just going to fall down every time, <laughs> which isn't that big of a deal because if you remember with the old method, um, you had to do the door glitch every single story. It took freaking forever. So I don't think this even takes as long as the old one. And if you guys are having issues with this method, you can also just take metal siding, place it off the side, stand on that, and then put the wardrobe down. That is another option. Um, but if you can do it without doing it, I would, like I am right now. Alright guys, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So you just make a line like that up 
really high well this one's a lot cleaner than this one so you'll see this one's really glitchy when we go up it because i didn't make it straight at all i just kind of hucked them up there so you have to move oh geez you have to move around a decent amount and there is a decent chance that you're going to fall out like we just did there and then you got to go all the way to the bottom if you fall out and glitch back up oh see that is not good that's why you guys got to make sure that you line them up <laughs> they're so crooked because um, that way when you do the glitch takes you straight up with no chance pretty much that you're gonna fall out um, but yeah so and the, the beauty of this is not only can you oh god umbrella um, not only can you um, use this to build a sky base and use it as your ladder pretty much or not ladder but yeah your elevator to get up to your sky base but you can also use it to raid other people's sky bases as it is mobile so I mean let's say someone has a sky base down this way we just drive on over to their sky base with our portable elevator yes yes park it at their base jump on out just be like all right let's go raid this bad boy climb right to the top raid their base like it's not even like the, the fact that it's in the air won't even be an issue um so yeah this is another glitch video but i think this is a glitch that isn't too abusive compared to my other videos about raiding people's bases in a cheaty way um this pretty much will just save you time plating because if you don't have a helicopter and you're trying to raid sky bases generally you'll spend like an hour um using freeform plates to play all the way up to their sky base um yeah but this lets you raid base after base after base that is in the sky without ever having to lay down a plate after you uh finish building the structure all right um but yeah that's pretty much it guys um i might put out another video of me discovering this glitch it's kind of goofy the car goes crazy it's it's, it's wild um i jump it off a cliff not cliff but a, a ramp yeah i may or may not release that we'll see if you guys want to see how i came to this idea um tell me and if you guys try out a different type of build building material rather than wardrobes that's easier to glitch up through um please tell me I would be very interested to know that information. But it seems like right now, wardrobes are going to be the easiest to glitch through that I've tried. I even tried campfires, which was actually pretty effective. But they were a pain in the butt. I kept burning myself while I was trying to build the tower of campfires. All stuff that you'll see in the other video if I end up releasing it. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.